Super excited, this is our second time attending together. Hey guys, we're going off to the UK Money Bloggers Awards today. We thought we'd give you an insight, a bit of background. We're now at London Bridge. This is the awards ceremony where we get to hang out with all the other money bloggers in the UK, get to meet them in person and see what they're really about. And a lot of these guys are super cool to hang out with. And we get to meet a lot of the brands as well. Yes, guys, so we're super excited to be attended. Like Ken said, we're going to be meeting all the other bloggers and I'm quite excited about seeing them in person. I'm also excited about getting some fresh ideas and hopefully sharing with you guys and giving you a glimpse into a life and a day of us yep. attending the showmos. Super. Well, let's go and make it happen. All right. All right, so we're about to jump on the Northern Line now, guys. So guys, welcome to the London Underground. We're not travellers on the Underground at all, so we're quite surprised how not so busy the Underground is. Next stop is where we're getting off, where the show most is being held, so yep, let's get on Yep, Yep, let's, let's go. Let's welcome to Morgate. What are we doing? Getting ourselves a juicy because we're healthy like that. <laughs> no, we're probably going to pick out later on, so this is the only chance we have of being healthy. Something healthy, so. right. Here are the choices. Quick look. We've gone for the energy juice. Carrot, apple and ginger. So let's see. We don't know how it's going to turn out, but look. Over there. <laughs> it's coming together. Too much. I'll take Mmm. This is really good. <laughs> really good. How much does that cost us? Just for the camel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Promise you, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really good, babe. I love it. All of £4.50. Mm. No, it's 550 actually. Oh, really? A bit pricey, but you know, it's healthy and it's a one off, so it a tastes treat. great too. It's a nice treat. And this is mm. like a bonus. A bonus! Oh, oh look you. at that, we got a bonus. bonus as well. Very Super. kind of you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. So this is what it looks like for chaos begins. <laughs> right, so here we are, this is it. Guys, we've got here Becky. Say hi Becky. Hello. Hello. Cass. Hi. So these guys have been innovative and they've made a new product called made by Think, Think, Think yes. even. Think, yes. let's talk about family budgeting. And why have you created this? Because we really believe that families that talk about money yep. come up with solutions. Yes. Families that don't hide money issues don't end up in the same kind of debt. You can only start to solve problems when you talk about what they are. We can Absolutely. also create some great family initiatives like yeah. saving for your summer holiday together, yeah, yeah, reducing yeah. food waste together, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. kids on board, hopefully teach them for life yeah. money, money saving skills. Well, yeah. Excellent. So how would this work? You film this. I mean, it'd be good to kind of demo this on me. So if I picked... Okay, so you can do it in various ways. You could right. randomly hand someone a pack card and say, at dinner time tonight, mm -hmm. we're going to have a chat about money. Let someone pick a card, right. any card, and have a chat about what comes up. Or you could think, we really need to look at our will, and we haven't ah. discussed it. Let's find a card that talks about will, and let's sort this out once and for all. Wow. And it's just a prompt to get you talking. Talking about it and making yeah. the time, and I guess. It can guess, be quite lighthearted. For example, yep. what will we do with a lottery win? Oh, and wow. as a family, that can be a really fun discussion. <laughs> yeah. But you could also get into that conversation, maybe we should give a bit of that money. Yes. Maybe we should save a bit of that money. Yeah, so yeah. you can get some teaching in there too, mm -hmm. over a light-hearted conversation. I love or it, it could be a much more serious, 
and sensible conversation. Mm -hmm. Are there any subscriptions or direct debits we could cancel? Ooh, no one likes to face no, that, but there's exactly. nearly always something, isn't there? There's that always we could something. Give up something you don't know. Perhaps your partner subscribed yeah. to. I mean, I have about four magazine subscriptions yeah. for the kids. They don't really read any. No, now I'm thinking actually because we're talking about it, and that's the power of conversation. I know, and the beauty about that one in particular is once you've cancelled it, then the future costs are also cancelled. Absolutely, that's the, you know. Absolutely, it's a really yeah. quick win, isn't it? Okay. So yeah, various Fantastic. questions just to get conversations going. Well, there you go. There you have it. That's uh, Cass and Becky's new products that they're going to be talking about very soon in the marketplace. Brilliant. Okay. I was on QVC there for a minute. So guys, I've got Jennifer here from Mama Furfo. You should definitely check her out on YouTube. Yeah, it's a, it's a good channel. It's a good it? channel to check out. <laughs> Jennifer is a good friend. Yes. And she's actually, I've learned a lot from Jennifer on our YouTube journey. And it's just amazing to bump into her here at the UK Money <laughs> not Bloggers. Not planned at all. I know, not been planned at all. We've just like <laughs> bumped totally into each other. And Jennifer texted me um, during the week and said she had a present for me. And I thought, that's so kind of Jennifer to think about, uh, kind of just coming with something, which is really nice. And I just thought, you know what? Let's just, you know, have a look at what Let's Jennifer has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's got this book here, yeah. which, go on, do you want to just introduce it? Um, so the book I'm going to give you and your dear wife is called The Power of the Subconscious Mind. And mm -hmm. it's an old book by Joseph Murphy. So written in the 1960s, anyone who watches my channel, I'm obviously huge on personal development. Yeah. It's the key, yep, isn't yep, it? It's yep. changed our life. Oh, huge. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So this bit I came across just a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and it's basically about your positive thoughts, yes. but also a little bit deeper. So it's about your habits. Mm. Um, it's also about how you can control, not control, how you can actually see things that you want in your life come right. about by thinking positively, mm -hmm. visualizing, setting goals. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to really. Wow. And, and the fact that it's written in the 1960s, I thought that the way we think about positivity was quite a new mm -hmm. discussion. But it's mm -hmm. not, it's is it? There's no new so thing under the sun. It's just exactly. amazing to actually come across really these inspiring. resources. Yeah. So this is, and it's one of my favorite books. I've never wow. picked up a book like this before. And I thought you two, I was Yay. inspired. I think you're going to love it. And I think I it's I cannot wait to dive in. Thank, Thank you so much. So much. Thank you so much. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is why we wanted to film this kind of back end, so you yeah. guys can kind of see the interactions or meet people. Everyone's it's amazing. Support each other, yeah, right? exactly. Oh, good. I'll so, yeah. my channel one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should, yeah, we should cross collaborate. Absolutely. Exactly. Well, there you go, guys. That's it. Let's move on to meeting more people later on. <laughs> So let me introduce you to our panel. We have Romy Saveva, CEO of Pension B, the online pension provider that helps you combine your old pension pots into one new online plan. We have Ken Akarafor, uh, founder of the Humble Penny and Financial Joy Academy, platforms of a mission to help others achieve financial independence and money joy in their lives. And also, last but not least, Avin Gray, CMO of Habito, the free online mortgage broker and now lender, which created the world's first rover advisor for regulated mortgage advice. Um, so to kick off the panel then, start with UK. Uh, we've already briefly mentioned being financially independent. Yeah. Can you please explain the FIRE movement? Okay, so the FIRE movement, FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early, is actually a movement that came from the US and it's making its way around the world. Uh, a lot of focus in the UK at the moment. Uh, a film came out recently called Playing With Fire, which I believe is going on general distribution very soon. But the acronym essentially means uh, you can either choose to become financially independent or choose early retirement. They're very different things, okay? So you don't have to go for early retirement just as you're financially independent. So I personally prefer financial independence with the option of a retirement. Because I love what I do. Can you explain how one goes about achieving financial independence? <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so this is an interesting one because um, I only really knew about financial independence in 2008, around the same time when I met my wife at a property investing seminar. Okay, we had met each other there and she was uh, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you later. <laughs> But we met there right away, uh, learning about property investing. Um, but to talk about how one can become financially independent, we get to, if you don't mind me telling you what I, kind of where I've come from and why this is really important to me, okay? So I immigrated to this country 20 years ago, in 1998 in July, okay? And when we moved here, I was 15 years old. July, I was 14 and 15. And, um, the first few years of living in this country were so difficult. I mean, 
it, it would be hard to actually explain. But we moved here basically with no rights at all. So we didn't have the rights to the NHS, the rights to work, the rights to basically all the things that people take for granted today. Okay? And so that meant that we were actually below the average people who said that they're not doing very well financially. And so that meant I couldn't go to uh, get a normal job. My parents couldn't get a normal job. My mom, who actually had um, a decent kind of education, started working and cleaning KFC. So we had a lot of difficulties. So this idea of financial independence for me became a thing mainly because I wanted to get out of poverty in effect. And I wanted a different life for myself in the future. Okay, so to become financially independent, one needs to have a really, really strong compelling why. It needs to be a really strong why because at the moment it's very buzzy, there's lots of stuff in the newspapers and people are really excited about these things. But to actually convert it into a goal, which is what financial independence is, it's actually a goal on the money journey. So you might be asking, what, what is the money journey? The money journey is um, a lot of people at the moment are basically trying to pay their bills and pay for their expenses. Then you start to move on and become have some financial security, which is a stage where you might have, say, three to six months of expenses saved up. Then you might start to work towards some level of financial security where you might have a year to three years worth of expenses saved up. And financial independence is way further than that, where your income from your investments is able to cover your expenses, your kind of everyday uh, necessary expenses. So the point at which you get to that is when you're able to do it. So when I think about how someone can achieve financial independence, I'd like to explain it using a, a kind of a iceberg um, analogy. At the top of the iceberg is savings, investing, and making money. This is a bit everybody talks about. But beneath the iceberg that people don't really talk about is what I refer to as uh, in working on your skill set, uh, using the right tool set, a framework, and working on your mindset. That's really the bit. And beneath that iceberg, a bit around perseverance, drive, having that compelling why. Um, and all those combined. Because saving money is great, and savings rate is the biggest indicator of whether you're going to become financially independent. But saving money is great, but making money is so important. And we don't talk about making money enough in this in this country, simply because I think culturally we're just shy to talk about making money. But if you really want to break out and really do exceptional things, you've got to actually make money and be comfortable talking about it. So making money for me helped us a lot because I went from cleaning a factory in Northern State. 20, you know, 20 years ago to you know, making significantly lots of money today. And that journey has been a journey about personal development, about growth, about being intentional, about breaking away from the mold. Okay, so I can, I can kind of go on, but I think I don't want to take, a, take up too much time. Yeah, but, that's perfect. I think yeah. we, can, we can dive into that a little bit deeper. Thanks, mm -hmm. everyone. Lunchtime. This is what things look like. Look, look, look. So these are the people running the country's money blogs. There we go. See? There you have it. if there can be any synergy between us and them, if there's any work we can do with them. And they do have some really good goodie bags. Guys. Oh, yeah. So I've just been eyeing up We've quite a bit of them. My bag's quite full. Right, let's look at some of the brands. <laughs> Bang <laughs> Bang on. On. Uh, Pension B, Pitco. You can see lots and lots of brands here. Yeah. In Japan. So, yeah. Oh. So yeah, that's it. So you can see lots and lots of brands are here. We've got lots of goodie bags. If you don't know Pension Beach, you check them out. For lots of things that we're going to check out later. Lots of emails and people we're going to hopefully collaborate with in order to bring more stuff to our audience to help them make more money, save more money, invest better, and so on. So this is a really, really fantastic kind of environment. It's going to meet people face to face. And it's just been fun, really, doing the whole day with other money bloggers. Uh, and just kind of seeing what they're working on and what we should be perhaps considering working on as well. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> you don't really, you know.
it. Plug it, plug it. Gutenberg. Darling, you can plug it. Just make sure your skin links work. You can plug it. Plug it, plug it. So guys, this is the final networking bit. We came in England, some drinks. Here you go. I want to get around. Pizzas, this is it. Yeah, so there you have it guys, evenings, we're now going to chill out, it's probably about 7pm in the evening, uh, about 7pm now, and we're all rounding up here at a UK Money Bloggers event, it's been fantastic, had so much fun, um, I'm going to quickly grab Mary so we can do a wrap up, but it's just been amazing, lots of really amazing people, got nominated for a couple of awards, uh, we didn't win this, this year, but it's just been fabulous just getting to meet people. Uh, and just collaborate. There's so much to learn, so much to do, and this is what this is what we're about. It's lifelong learning um, and growing in our personal development. And this is how it really happens through meeting other people, learning from them, sharing, and and growing. Okay. But we're gonna wrap up later. It's just been a fantastic day so far. Hey guys. Hey guys. So it's been absolutely fun today. It's, been awesome. it's something like. It's like 8.30 in the evening. We've had so much fun today. Just yeah. hearing how other money bloggers mm -hmm. operate, hearing from brands, mm -hmm. hearing people's stories. Yeah. Lots of people want to do well. Mm -hmm. Hearing people run their side hustles, making more money, working towards their goals. And lots of the things that we talk about yeah. um, on The Humble Penny. It's just been, I think it's just been really inspiring, hasn't it? Definitely have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, just to connect with people. Yeah. And yeah, just to hear about, you know, their journey as well mm -hmm. and seeing their challenges, yep. what they're aspiring to. It's quite a nice environment to be in. And yeah. And we've taken, I'm shattered. We've, we've taken a lot we've taken, away. Yeah, we've taken a lot away to implement. You're going to be seeing yeah, my, lots my of head. really interesting things happening. We're pleased to be part of this community. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this is Ken and Mary of the Humble Penny and the Financial Joy Academy. Please do subscribe if you're new to this channel. This particular video we've done is unusual for our channel, but we thought, do you know what? As part of kind of talking lifestyle, yep. we will share with you guys something unusual, mm -hmm. um, just to give you kind of behind the scenes about how, you know, how much work we put in towards helping to grow mm -hmm. our business, grow the channel, everything we do. So mm -hmm. it's just been fun today. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it as well. Yeah, a bit of different content for you guys, yeah, and yeah. I wasn't a bit of, oh, are people really going yeah, to Yeah, she was like, are people this, really going to be interested in this? But I thought, yeah, you know what, we look, let's just do it and see, right? So do let us know in the comments, right? Exactly, let us know in the comments if you like it, if you want to see yeah. more of it. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff where we're sharing <laughs> behind the scenes, do let us know in the comments and give us some ideas as well. Is there stuff you want to see more of? Mm -hmm. um, you know, how could we add more value to your lives, basically? Uh, let us know in the comments as well. But Anyway, do subscribe and comment, and we'll see you guys on our next video. All right, okay? take care, guys. All right, take care, guys. Take care. Speak Bye. soon. Bye.